So there's a number of reasons that are driving this, this estrogen situation. And one of the first things is liver load. Okay, so if, like I mentioned earlier, if you have leaky gut syndrome, all of those toxins from the liver are going to be basically, um, sorry, all the toxins from the intestines are going to be coming to the liver and overloading the liver. And then when the estrogens come around, you can't clear it. And um, other exposures, we're getting a lot of estrogen environmentally. All right, so environmental estrogens are often called xenoestrogens. And so examples of xenoestrogens would be things like parabens, phylates in skincare products. So 80% of what's on your skin is going to be in your bloodstream. All right. And so um, plastic water bowls, that they're actually leaching PCBs, dioxins, which are xenoestrogenic. They're mimicking estrogen. Okay, which then, again, we're getting estrogenic within our system. By the way, those drinking cups were plant-based. They're not plastic. Um, it's a small point, but very important. Um, and so um, it's, it's the liver load and environmental estrogens. Uh, herbicides, pesticides on the foods we're eating are all xenoestrogens. I've got a, a textbook with all the research showing the association with pesticides and herbicides and breast cancer. So when you start looking at these, we've got a huge estrogenic load, and then we haven't got the nutrition we need to clear it. 